Welcome to our digital printing video. From brand logos to awesome creative designs, digital prints can magically transform a vehicle. In this video, we'll help make sure your digital print installation is a success by showing you the four essential steps needed to prepare digital printed material. Before you start, think about your design and ask yourself, how many pieces of material will you be using on the vehicle? Will the graphic need to be split into multiple pieces? And will you start from the back or the bottom? If your application requires using multiple panels, make sure the overlaps are included in your design. Remember that the right preparation of printing data will help you avoid problems with the graphic alignment during application. Got all that decided? Great. Then let's see how to get your design printed and ready for application in four steps. Step one. Make sure that the media and printing technology is suitable for the project you are about to do. In terms of 3D conformability, durability and such aspects. Step two, choose the right ICC media profile for your printer or your RIP configuration. Step three, make sure your printed material is cured or dried properly. Just because it's dry to touch doesn't mean it's ready. And step four, laminate your film. If you are outsourcing your digital print work, check that your provider understands and follows the correct procedures as presented in this video. Let's now look more closely at each step and see what can happen when things aren't done correctly. We'll start with printing technologies and why they matter. There are three printing platforms suitable for graphic digital media, solvent, latex and UV. If you'll be installing over a 3D surface, be aware of the possible limitations of UV printing. With UV, there are flexible inks, but that does not automatically mean they are conformable. Flexible UV inks work great on banners and rigid materials that will be moving or bending, not stretching. And this not only applies to what happens to the graphic after installation, but also to its performance during the application process. Only conformable inks allow for stretching. Inks need to be able to maintain the integrity of the design and the colors as you apply materials over curved surfaces. So always check you are using the right printing technology and inks for each project. Step two, choose the correct ICC profile. Every digital printing material comes with a recommended ICC profile. This profile adjusts the printer settings, like the amount of ink used and the speed of printing to match the material and deliver optimum performance. Check that your printer is not using the generic profile or the ICC profile from the previous job. If you print with the wrong profile, it can use too much or too little ink, which can lead to visual imperfections and overall bad printing results. Though we're talking about digital printing, it may surprise you to find out that drying is probably the most important thing to get right and the part that many get wrong. That is especially important for printing technologies where certain components of ink must evaporate. Ink needs time to cure, stabilise or outgas. Proper drying techniques allow this to happen. When materials aren't allowed to dry properly, they are usually harder to apply, can age prematurely and may even show signs of failure within days or weeks on the vehicle. These failures can damage your credibility as an installer and that of the product. So make sure to use one of the following ways to dry your freshly printed material. The first and best way is to use a dedicated drying cabinet. Another technique, assuming you have a large, clean, ventilated space, is to hang the material from a support. Or, if you have limited space, you can use the loosely wound technique. To do so, loosely unwind the material roll, creating sufficient space between the layers, and stand it vertically, making sure it is raised off the floor, on a pallet for example. Again, drying takes time. In the right conditions, allow at least 24 hours. Please note, inco-solvent inks require 48 hours, but depending on the ink load and type of solvent, it can take up to 72 hours. If, however, the air is saturated due to improper ventilation, 
caused by rolls that are wound too tightly, for example, drying can take weeks or even never fully dry. So be sure to allow for proper ventilation. By the way, never dry outside. Your material will get contaminated. So how do you know if it's dry? Obviously, if it feels tacky, too soft or smells strongly of solvent, it needs more time to dry. But don't make the mistake of thinking that just because it feels dry, it is dry. The safest way of knowing it's dry is to follow the established drying times and drying techniques we've mentioned in this video. The final stage of digital printing is laminating. Laminating your printed material will add a layer to prevent fading and protect it against abrasion and contamination. It also gives you the aesthetical option of making your finished gloss satin or matte. But not only does laminating keep your digital print looking its best, it also adds thickness, making the material easier to work with while installing. Once laminated, give your material 24 hours to bond. That's another thing to remember when planning. A good bond between the film and the laminate is critical when you are applying the material. For example, if there is no good bond, the laminate may separate from the substrate in a corrugation. Make sure that cast laminates are laminated in an ambient temperature. 20 to 23 degrees. Though if the ambient temperature is cold, you may need to use heat. For calendared media, as an option, a little bit of extra heat, up to 35 degrees, can be of help. In summary, the four digital printing steps to check are, choose a printing technology suitable for the project, use the correct printer ICC profile for your material, Use a proper drying process, allowing enough time for drying. Always laminate and allow enough time for bonding. Now you're ready to start installing. Thank you for watching. Join me for more videos and application techniques.